Hey guys, I just tried to figure out what the ADC is. So now that I know, hopefully know, I would like to explain to you what it is. So it's called an application delivery controller, basically. So what is it? It should be, the application delivery controller should be between the firewall and the router and the web form, uh, web farm of a company. So basically it's like you can see that on the right hand side in the corner. Um, it's basically in the DMZ, so in the demilitarized zone, which means it's like in this part of the company or in the IT of the company, which is not the militarized zone. So it's not the fully secure zone. It's a zone where you can like have access from the internet. So basically what's happening is that from the internet or from somewhere, from another web network, you send a request, which is usually going through the firewall or the router, the internet router of the company. And then uh, you have access to the web farm or an application in the, within the web farm. Um, and the ADC, the application delivery controller, is an uh, appliance which is in between these two things and is doing certain stuff. So uh, just first to the word itself, so ADC, the application delivery controller, was invented by some vendors uh, who now make products for it. The first appearance of the application delivery controller was 2004 and in the beginning it was basically an application acceleration and a load balancer. So that was the beginning. And in 2006 it got a bit more advanced and there are more features and stuff and uh, it developed more. So what it does, like the main task is uh, the to optimize the application performance. It's mainly seen as a security device and is responsible uh, to efficiently make the like the, the resource management. It can be by now, like it's getting more and more about the virtual appliance. So in the beginning it was a physical appliance, but now you can get both. So what does it do? What are the main tasks of the application delivery controller? Like the request is coming, is going through the firewall and then stops at the application delivery controller. And what it does, it makes the applications available. That is one of the basic tasks it does. So it just for example, it, uh, it, has a f it has failover functionality. So if, for example, one server in the end in the web farm does not uh, exist or is down, broken down, whatever, it, it leads the, application, uh, the, the request to another server which is available. Or what it does as well is the translation between the IPv4 uh, and the IPv6 protocol. In the security, I said already, it's mainly seen as a security device. Like it has firewalls itself. Like sometimes that there are firewalls within the like in the application delivery controller, uh, and it is also DDoS protection, especially because of the load balancing fu uh, functionality. What we see now, so it does accelerate the requests to the application. Once it does the load balancing between, like uh, it does it for IPv6 and it does it for IPv4. Uh, um, it does it for applications, databases, web servers, physical and virtual servers, and it does it in a layer 4 and in a layer 7 o of the uh, OZ model. It does like advanced routing and it does also like functions like compression and stuff. So if the ADC controlled the request and says like, okay, the request is fine, then the request is going through to the server what the ADC told the request to go to. Right, and in the end, uh, I just wanted to show you some vendors who offer products uh, within this uh, ADC stuff. Uh, like, what I found at first was for uh, Rotware, but I also saw like F5 especially. Um, also, like, were, mi uh, were founders of the, of the term itself and stuff. So there are different vendors where you can get products who provide ADCs. Right. So basically that's, that's it. That was my first impression of the ADC. I hope it helped you to understand or to get a first impression what it could be. Um, yeah, and hope I see you soon.